In this lesson, we're going to transition to a new feature of the carbonyl functional group, and that is the acidity of the protons on the carbon adjacent to the carbonyl, known as the alpha carbons. Now, a consequence of the acidic nature of these protons manifests itself in what is known as ketoenol tautomerization, a special kind of isomerization reaction that we'll learn about in this lesson. Additionally, the acidic nature of these protons can be utilized to transform an electrophilic carbonyl group into a powerful nucleophile for use in further chemical reactions. Now let's take a closer look at the acidic nature of the alpha hydrogens. Again, the alpha hydrogens are connected to the alpha carbons, which are both adjacent to the carbonyl group. Previously, the most acidic hydrocarbon that we studied in this class was the proton on a terminal alkyne. This proton has a pKa of about 25. Now the protons on the alpha carbon of acetone have a pKa of about 20, which is five orders of magnitude more acidic than a terminal alkyne and is approaching the acidity of simple alcohols. A consequence of the acidic nature of the alpha protons of carbonyl groups is that carbonyl containing molecules exist in two different isomeric forms, with the major fraction being the keto tautomer and the minor fraction being the enol tautomer. Tautomerization of the keto form to the enol form can be catalyzed by either base or acid. Both mechanisms involve two reversible proton transfer steps. First, hydroxide depronates the alpha carbon to form the enolate anion. Then the enolate anion then depronates a molecule of water to form the enol tautomer. A key difference between these two mechanisms is the intermediates through which the mechanism proceeds. The base catalyzed mechanism proceeds through the enolate anion, wherein the acid catalyzed mechanism proceeds through a simple protonated carbonyl group. Now this is important because the enolate anion can be used as a powerful nucleophile and the protonated carbonyl is a powerful electrophile. In our previous lessons on carbonyl chemistry, we've already looked at the electrophilicity of the carbonyl group in the addition and substitution reactions. Therefore, in the following webcast, we're going to key in on the efficient generation of the enolate anion.